You know, it's getting kind of later in the evening, sun's going down. I'm here at my home office. I need to go out and check the mail. And I thought I'd bring you along. And, and, and we need to talk about the most asked question I get when I'm in the store. And that's why is my knife not holding an edge? Why, why can't I keep an edge on my knife? Well, I've got some answers for you. So uh, stick around, cue that intro. So why doesn't your knife hold an edge? Well, there's several reasons. The first, probably the biggest reason why most people's knives don't hold an edge, because you have a crappy knife. If your knife steel isn't very good, it's not gonna hold an edge. What's the purpose of a knife? It's to cut stuff. You go out and you buy terrible knives. You buy knives that are way too expensive, that have steels that are just terrible, and, uh, and, uh, and I forgot my damn keys. I can't check my mail without keys. All right, we're walking back. Gives us more time to talk. Your knife's not gonna hold an edge if it has a terrible steel. And you go out, you buy these knives, you spend way too much money for them, and the steel is awful. You look at everything but the steel. You look at the handle, you look how pretty it is. It's a pretty knife. Look at that set. Isn't that set a pretty set? Let's bring that home, it'll look good in the kitchen. But the steel is junk. And if the steel is junk, you're wasting your money. Oh. First step to having a knife that will hold an edge is get a better knife, better quality knife. How do you know what's what? You get, you're going to have to learn a little something about a steel, or you're going to have to go to a store like ours that you trust, and we'll tell you all about the steel that's in the knife you want to buy. So what's another reason? Well, let me tell you a story. There was one time a lady comes in. We had sharpened her knives a few weeks before. She comes into the store madder than a hornet, throws her knives up on the countertop and says, I just got these sharpened a couple weeks ago and they won't hold an edge. I demand to have them resharpened. And I said, okay, well, that's no problem. You know, all our sharpening is guaranteed. You know, we're not gonna fight you on it. We're just gonna resharpen them. We want you to be happy. But then I asked her, I said, what kind of cutting board do you use? She says, well, I use glass. Glass, why are you using glass? She goes, it's safest. I could throw it in the dishwasher. Well, glass isn't safest and it's really hard on the knife edge. And I told her, as long as you're using glass, your knives aren't gonna hold an edge for any time at all. They're just not. She wasn't happy about that, but when we switched her over to a wood cutting board, which is, by the way, the safer cutting board to use because of germs, so the wood will, will kill the germs. This has been demonstrated through a lot of different tests and studies, so, you know, if you need that information, let us know. But uh, switched her over to a good wood cutting board and she didn't have any more problems after that. So terrible steel is one reason. Your cutting board is another. If you're cutting on solid surface material, if you're cutting on glass, it's not gonna hold an edge at all. Well, I brought my keys this time so I can check my mail. The other reason why your knives don't hold an edge is because you're abusing them. If you're banging them around, you're hitting them on the countertop, if you're throwing them into the sink, you're gonna lose that edge. You know, sinks are made of two things, stainless steel and ceramic. Both stainless steel and ceramic, they're abrasives. They're both abrasives. They're both gonna take your knife blade out and, uh, and you're not gonna hold an edge at all. I mean, at all. If you put it in the dishwasher, people come in all the time into the store and they say, I want a knife that's dishwasher safe. You know, I appreciate that. I hand wash everything, because it's just me. I mean, what am I gonna use a dishwasher for? I just, I cook for myself. You can't throw your knives into the dishwasher. I have one lady that insists that the water dulls the knives. Well, water's not gonna dull steel. Sorry, uh, not just with one wash, it's not gonna happen. What happens is the knife is in the dishwasher and then it gets all knocked around. There's streams of water flying through there and your knife is doing the funky chicken in the dishwasher. Can we get a little thing of a funky chicken in here? I don't know. Anyways, it's doing the funky chicken in the dishwasher, and that edge is banging up against everything. I don't care if you lay it in the top or you put it in the bottom section, you're not gonna hold an edge long that way. Another thing people do is they put it down with their other silverware, and they just throw their knives down there. What do you think's gonna happen with your knife edge if it's down there? Protect the edge. Your knife will hold an edge a lot longer, and you'll be a lot happier. And when it starts getting a little off, it's not as sharp as it used to be, just put it on a butcher's steel or sharpen it. 
whichever works for you. And I'll have more videos about that later. What's the biggest reasons your knife doesn't hold an edge? You either abuse him, you have a lousy steel, you're using the wrong cutting board. Those are the three main reasons. So get a better cutting board, much better cutting board, in grain preferably. Get yourself a great knife with a great steel. Take care of the edge and don't throw it in the dishwasher or the sink. Hand wash it, dry it, put it back in a storage facility or whatever you've got for that. And you're going to have a, lot, a knife that holds an edge for a very long time. I'm bringing it in to me once or twice a year and you'll be good. I'm, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And later on I'm going to have some videos uh, very soon that talk about sharpening and oh all kinds of knife care. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time.